When tragedy strikes, you have two options. A, put on the brakes, or B, keep on pedaling. But our GPP superstars decided those options weren't good enough. So they invented option C, turn your pain into a vehicle of inspiration. Each and every one of us has the power to positively affect millions of people. And you know, don't wait, do it, start now, because tomorrow turns into next year, turns into 10 years from now. And I spent a lot of time praying about it, and finally I decided that I'm not going to lay down and uh, let this thing take me. So I started training in my wheelchair. I started training for the Paralympics. Pat's my inspiration for doing what you can while you can until you can't. Yeah. It's part of being a firefighter. Never say die is my motto. And uh, people call me a hero, but a hero ain't nothing but a sandwich. Woo! Come on, guys! Are you done with GPP? Are you done with GPP? We're not done with GPP! We're not with GPP! I'm with a documentary called The Greater Purpose Project. Oh, and great idea. Thank you. That would be an incredible TV show. Well, I think The Greater Purpose is just to be... One guy, Bob, and his dog, Bogart, traveling to campuses across the country to promote kindness. Well, to, to entertain and to help people as much as you can. I think that's your... You know, you, 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 you're given a certain amount of gifts that you develop, and then that's great, and you help yourself and your family, but then... All right, now what else can I do? Uh, there's a cause called, called Best Buddies, uh, people and kids with intellectual disabilities. Yeah. So I, I try to go around and, you know, try to do my best to help them uh, bring attention. And make us laugh. I think your other greater purpose is making people laugh. Uh, well, I try. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have an after-school program that's the number one after-school program in the state of California. I've been doing it for 16 years. It's called A World Fit for Kids. Half of my time is, is uh, spent philanthropically uh, trying to help those in need, those who uh, haven't been as blessed, and uh, uh, that's, my, that's been my calling. If you, if you are curious enough to ask someone, because so many people feel that they aren't being seen, that they aren't, that, that they're not being noticed, and I think if you can ask a question and really listen, you find out extraordinary things about people and their stories and what they've endured. It's a little after 7 in the morning. We're here in Tucson. We've got T minus two hours before the MS walk kicks off, and we're here at the Taylor House. But the surprise is Patrick has no idea that we're coming. He is the inspiration behind the GPP, so it's only fitting that we start here. And when you meet him, you'll see why. Come on, let's go. <laughs> it might help if I could get in the game. No, I'm it's serious. Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. <laughs> this is journalist turned TV host turned cat burglar into the, the Taylor's household here. We're going to surprise Patrick. And we might take a surprise trip to the ER, too, if I break my ankle coming down here. Good morning, Patrick! You surprised? Thank God. Oh. Patrick is the person I call when I need a pick-me-up. Yeah, the weight room is that way. What do you think? <laughs> my reporter is that way. <laughs> <laughs> my cameraman is that way. We joke that he's the firefighter with nine lives. <sighs> Pat has run in and out of burning buildings, survived a bullet wound to the gut, and is battling stage four multiple sclerosis. Not even a truck could stop Pat, literally. He was hit by a van during one of his runs in his wheelchair. You were thrown out of your chair 100 feet. Flying. Right. Flying. I learned how to fly back to <laughs> Learned how to fly back 
Are you scared of anything? Losing her? This is my only thing. We're joined at the hip. I got pretty lucky finding him. He's a man of integrity. You don't find a lot of them anymore. Like myself, I, where I think I have limits, I realize that they're self-imposed. That there's nothing about my body that keeps me from doing the exercise I need to do or, or doing achieving the goals I want to achieve. But Patrick has does have some real limitations, and yet he defies them. The unique thing about this documentary is the script isn't finished yet. We are still searching for GPP superstars to include in our film. Do you know someone who has overcome hardship and is inspiring others with their greater purpose? Go to our website, thegreaterpurposeproject.com, and tell us about them today.